Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. And after seeing this cabin air filter, that triggered me to make this video. I will probably name it something like Don't buy cars like this. And this is the deal, this is the story. It's a brand new customer who contacted me and said Hey, I just bought used Prius. I would like you to do detail inspection. I would like to know on what condition it is. It's a used vehicle, approximately 150,000 miles. Please, I would like to make appointment and get it completely checked. Well, I'm afraid he will start regretting pretty soon that he didn't do the inspection before he purchased that. Why is that? Well, three days later he said, I want to keep my appointment, but I have already check engine light and red triangle on. I pulled the code, this is the code, but I would like to bring it keep appointment but the appointment is changing now I have a problem with it and it I would like you to take care of it I believe he gave me that coat over the phone and he was worried because it's for the hybrid cooling system but it was the typical code for the pump which is right here so he was like can I drive it a few miles to your shop or do I need to tow it I said, no, that will make a few miles. Don't go on the trip with it, obviously, but you don't have to tow it, it will be fine. The vehicle will make it here locally. It's all flat area. It will be fine. So he showed up here today and we started talking. And he's like, okay, I would like to take care of the pump, but also the horn doesn't work. Uh, the, the previous owner, she said, it's something small, it, it, it will be not expensive, it, it's something small. So I said, yeah, okay, let's go look at the fuse, right? We have a fuse box, maybe that is a horn, right? So the horn was not working because the fuse on the horn was not there. All the previous owner need to grab this little tool there were two spare fuses right here supplied that's what i did in front of the owner today 30 minutes ago i pulled the spare and put it right here of course the horn started working so suddenly we are starting realizing this vehicle was not correctly maintained it was absolutely abused so i showed him where is his jumper in the case he will get stuck, he's a brand new, he, he told me he's never owned a Prius, so this is one of the important things. When your 12 volt battery runs dead and you cannot even get in the vehicle because everything is electric. I showed him what he's looking here in the area. And while he's standing there, I said, oh, let's just look on the engine air filter. Of course, that filter, it's nasty, dirty, it's completely plugged, you see it. Of course, the MAF sensor wire, I can see immediately inside, it's completely dirty. The throttle body is dirty. So we are starting seeing absolute negligence on part of the previous owner, right? I pulled a dipstick with the engine oil, the yellow right here, I pulled it. I show it to the new owner. I said, hey, look, this is completely brown. You need an oil change also. You have to take care of it, otherwise, otherwise it will not last. Unfortunately, now I'm starting discovering this pattern and that's why I'm filming it. He says, well, there was not any oil in the engine. Uh, the, the dipstick was barely touching it, so I had to add another quarter and something to even bring it to the level. I'm like, oh my god, this sounds bad. And I tell him, well, uh, while we, he's still here, right, he's a student of our university. While he's still here, I'm like, okay, let me show you where the AUX battery is, right? 
This we didn't discuss. This is what I just pulled out. It's absolutely plucked. It, you, the AC and the whole system can't even work. So let's go look here. So I said, okay, I will show you where the AUX battery is. You are the new owner. You need to learn a little bit about it, right? So we move this. I'm like, why is this part laying here? Okay, let's move this. And I'm like, oh, they didn't give you the jack. You cannot change your tire because they didn't give you jack back. So call the previous owner that you want to have it back. Now I'm going to show him where the aux battery is. I'm like, oh yeah, so this is good. It's not sitting in the water. Sometimes when you had all this dirt sitting around it will plug the drain which is underneath it and then the battery will sit in the water there will be moisture in the interior of the vehicle so that's good but sure enough the vent for the battery is not hooked so i will need to re remove this for him hook it back because i can't get my fingers there i don't want to scratch myself cut myself on the hand and now i'm looking on this i'm like why is this sticker here i can see that's a casing of uh, original battery why is here the sticker now he drops the bomb right we are still in the parking lot bomb in my case he says well the previous owner she told me that few cells were replaced on it i'm like okay i'm sorry to tell you but you just bought the wrong car. So the previous owner didn't want to maintain this vehicle correctly. What she decided, save probably $2,000 or $1,500, she got it pulled out, replaced one or two cells on the hybrid pack, shove it back and sell it to somebody else. So this is what I heard in the parking lot. Then I, of course, will always check for him. Cabin air filter. Now you start seeing the details, right? This is broken. Look at the dash. This is not a good Prius. Somebody was doing who knows what with this. On the first look, it actually looks decent, right? You will not thing if you are not trained you will think that's fine but when you are starting seeing all these problems this is not a car you buy this is a car you walk away from did i mess up on that yep so when i will start it up i just want to show you look at that you don't want to see this right not after you bought this old 2004 Toyota Prius with 154,000 miles this is not something you want to be seeing immediately after your purchase I believe he owns it for like a month and he's already in the trouble with it this is very sad and seeing all these details I decided to make this video for you this is being pushed out so most likely oh yeah it got hit in the back you see this crease it got hit right here in the back this is the impact you can see it right here that's why these are broken off this is here, this was laying inside of there, I put it back there and both of these are flapping off because it got hit direct here. So please believe me, if you want to buy a used vehicle, don't buy a vehicle like this, it will bite you, it will bite you in the butt. It will cost you because he wants to know. Well, I will gladly write him 
all maintenance which needs to be done. Look at these spark plugs, right? The way it's dusty. Nobody obviously touched them also forever. Brake fluid, at least the level, it's good. I think he's not losing coolant. The levels are okay. The coolant looks old. If he will go through with the correct maintenance, it will cost him thousands. Of course, he has that hybrid battery. That's a ticking bomb. It's coming on him. Doesn't matter if you want or not. These magicians who are doing their magic, I honestly don't believe them. Somebody will be really mad that I'm saying it. I don't believe in it. I just show you how I deal with it. Two weeks ago I filmed for you partially the replacement of hybrid battery on this model, on this second generation of Prius. I showed you how I deal with it and what it means how I deal with it. I use brand new Toyota pack with the warranty and that's in my opinion only way to deal with it. Conclusion of this story. Please, if you would like to buy a used second generation of Prius, get it, inspect it. And don't just look at it, because it looks pretty okay outside and inside. It's not horrible. I have no idea what he paid for it, but these cars right now, because it's the used car crisis here in the United States, they still sell for a lot of money. I see them daily. People are asking unbelievable six, seven, eight thousand dollars with this relatively low mileage on it, right here in California, the Golden State. It's very expensive, the ads, and they kind of disappear, right? The ad will be there for two weeks and it sells. So it's very expensive already purchase of the car, which will need a lot of money to be kept up. So tell me what you think about it, seeing all the details I show you. And if you like it, give it a thumb up and be subscribed. I have a lot of stuff coming your way soon. Have a great day, my friend.